And more Oklahoma is reaching a turning point 12 weeks after a tornado killed 24 people. Today is the first day of a new school year. Benita Nyer spoke with a student and a principal who are both trying to look ahead. Rebuilding their school in less than three months from salvaged boxes and volunteer time was the easy part for Plaza Towers Elementary. Making students feel safe again is proving to be much harder. How excited are you for school to start? Kind of, yeah, kind of, no. What's the yeah part? What will be exciting about having school here? Mm, and I get to see most of my friends. Is the no part that you won't get to see a lot of them? Yeah. Nine-year-old Kai Haang Praseth still struggles at any mention of last May's tornado that leveled the town of Moore, Oklahoma. He was pulled from the wreckage when his entire school collapsed, but seven of his classmates did not make it. Do you remember any of that? Mm -hmm. I heard something hitting a window, like above us. That's all. I just closed my eyes and did that. In the place where his old school once stood is a sign promising a new one. These crosses often have fresh flowers to remember, but Principal Amy Simpson says no one will forget. It will be eating lunch at a different time, going to PE music art at a different time, playing on a different playground. All of that will be our new normal. What are some of the harder conversations you've had to have with these kids and these parents? Just about safety. The hardest part for me is to understand that I can't make it perfect for them. It may not be perfect, but for Kai, it's enough. He's starting the new year happy, hoping to forget about the last one. For CBS This Morning, Benita Nyer, Moore, Oklahoma. We were both there yeah. in the morn. It's extraordinary to see how quickly they've rebuilt some of these places, mm -hmm. the resolve.